Hello, Randall Monk and Rana Vazain here with a gem of wisdom from Archangel Michael. My, how time flies. However, we're glad to be with you again. We hope you're all well. Um, we got much to talk about, so uh, let's get with it. If you constantly strive to stay centered within your sacred heart and use the enlightened wisdom of your sacred mind, you will never be led astray. Your intuition will grow stronger and stronger as you build your confidence as a self-master. And you will always sense and understand the correct decision to make and the path to follow. I think all of you that have been listening to us over the years are well on your way to achieving self-mastery. But don't forget, it's a never-ending process. And it's like, you know, we use the terminology, peeling the layers of an onion. It's like uh, we have these thick layers around us that we've built as we built our cross of light and as we built, we have the material form, but we also have the etheric body. And it has become so contaminated, it's like it's a prison. And it is a prison of thought forms and negativity and what we have taken as our truth, just like we say. The subconscious mind takes everything literally. And just think about all the years of programming. Uh, you've heard me say this before, that Michael has said, and it's been said by others, that back when humanity hardly had, people, people hardly had an independent thought of their own. And so now with all of this energy pouring in, it's activating memory seed atoms that emitted our negativity, but also other memory seed atoms that's saying, here we are, we're waiting. Give us your light, give us your attention. We're here, we're here to help you. We have information for you. You don't have to fight anymore. You don't have to be alone anymore. We are here to guide, direct, inspire you. And we are only conditioned by the highest good, by the universal laws, by the love light that is proven to be the true path. There's a lot of people out there saying a lot of things, a lot of different paths that you can travel. And there's good in most of them. Some are controlling someone like we, Michael said, run everything through your heart monitor. And it's, if it's in any way negative, controlling, fearful, discard it because it's not the path you want to be on. You want to, first of all, be neutral. You want to be centered. And you want to reach up and feel that connection to your sacred triad. It's been kind of a nebulous thing, all the angels and the teachers and all that. The sacred triad, if you allow it to, if you have achieved that balance of the harm, begun, begun to achieve harmony or balance within your sacred heart so that you are now, you have cleared 51% and you are beginning to do send out positive energy, that pathway is opening. It may still be very narrow, but you have opened it. You have opened that door to that pathway. And what you say, what you do, what you think, what you feel, that's either gonna be your master, your lifeline leading the way, or it's going to be a drag line with it's a heavy all with all of that negativity that you've had that's pulling you down. And in the future now, we're going to be talking more about reaching up but also reaching down or going down into the core of the earth because there are some very important positive attributes with that too, but it has to be done right. So you, we, we have had a cross of matter and we are now building our pillar of light and we have our sun, our God, our diamond core God cell that as we radiate energy, bring it in, the positive attributes and, and the positive thoughts and actions, a way of life, of seeing the best in everything, controlling our thoughts, in return and returning to neutral so that, so that we, we don't move out of that center and we do not create any frenetic energy that is muddying our auric field. See yourself in this um, shaded, shadowy, some more shadowy than other, that prison, the negativity, and see this beautiful pillar of light. Before, before 
It was brilliant. It was light. It was filled with your perfect divine blueprint, but gradually it became contaminated from the outside in. Now, Michael, I'm saying it a lot, it's now an inside job. The transmutation, the transformation, the change is all an inside job. It's starting here in that essence of you, your diamond core God self. And it's gradually moving out to your body. Why do you think we're having so many physical symptoms? All of those little rascals, those little negative energies all through our bloodstream, our DNA, our organs, our glands, they're filled with them. They're packed with them. And the light is not to be denied. It penetrates down to the very core of who we are. And so, okay, so you have a lot to do. You have a lot out there. You don't, you don't feel like it's worth it. You don't feel like what we tell you really works for you. You think you're not worthy. You think you're not strong enough. You think you're not good enough. Will you believe us when we say you are? You have the same potential that we have. You have the potential to come an inspired, aware, enlightened self-master who's walking the path into the higher realms, into the fifth dimension, or into the higher fourth dimension where things will change, things will start to flow, they will start, you will get validation that what you're doing is right. And so let's start here. Start to listen to what, and I've all for the years called it the monkey mind, but it's really your ego desire body. And again, if you can't, if you can't control it, stop, learn to stop it. I, I am to the point, I don't say words anymore. I just, I, I just own and send out the, the frequencies of omen, it changes. I also have tinnitus but I change it to music with my thoughts, with my, oh, 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 oh. I am in control of my body. But do you think I haven't had to work very hard? But first thing is to become self-aware of what you're ingesting, what you're taking in. And that means in all things, thoughts, foods, beliefs, negative and positive. Begin to pay attention as if your life depended on it, because it does. And as you do that, and you learn with the breathing, you've got to do the practice, you've got to do the work. We can say, you can read the books, you can listen to lectures, but if you don't take that information and glean the knowledge from it that is valid and important to you, where you are now, right where you are, and right where you are is perfect for you. And understand, this is an admonishment. Michael said there's no longer status quo. You are either going to take the spiral upward or the spiral downward. The spiral downward can be good if it's filled with love and harmony and beauty. But it's full of negativity and, and judgment and control. Don't you think it's har not harming our Divine Mother, our blessed Earth? The Earth is screaming for assistance. I just read something where, like you said, we talk about healing the Earth. We don't need to heal the Earth. The Earth can heal itself, but we can stop making it ill and contaminating it. But it starts with you. It starts with us. And it's one step at a time, one thought at a time. It takes discipline, it takes control, it takes time, it takes patience. But right now is the greatest opportunity you will ever have to transform into that person, that most magnificent person that you can possibly envision. It's going to go forward without us if we, don't, we don't, if we don't do our share, if we don't keep pace, if we don't keep moving up that column of light then we're gonna get stuck down here in the uglies and the negativity. And so we don't wanna do that. We don't wanna talk about that. So we'll talk more and more about this. I'm getting wonderful information that I, that I will be sharing as time goes on, but I know it works. And the magic is here if you have the key and you know how to tap into it.
we'll help you do it, but you've got to do the work. Thank you, Rana. Now, one of the things we talked about here on the first, in the first sentence was to be consciously heart-centered, centered within your sacred heart. And of course, we can just do that by intention. And I'll also post a link to a video below this that I've created on connecting with your sacred heart. It's just a very brief meditation, uh, just a few minutes that will help you connect with your sacred heart if you want to do that and it might help you consciously connect with it uh, just by the intention after that that's all for now much love and many blessings from our hearts to yours more good things to come step on the step on the escalator with us and off we go we love you bye-bye bye for now